127 and 135 like this right so they don't have like right. it should be something like that 118 to 126 126 to 135 like this yes it should be like this but it is not so at that time what we have to do we have to make it like this okay let's start doing this how to make it okay so it will be like this what you have to do you have to subtract 0.5 from here and you have to add 0.5 here clear okay. so if you will subtract it will be 117.5 to 126.5 and here it will be 126.5 to 135.5 right and here it will be 135.5 and here it will be 136.5 like this you will make and others it will be same clear this is in gram sorry this is in histogram yes but in histogram all the graphs are together now but if you have a gap for example you wrote 118 and here 126 you have to write 127 here right but in histogram right. everything is close enough right so that's why you made it inclusive like this doing by this so now you have one uh, you will what you what you will make now you will make 117.5 to 126.5 then 126 to 135.5 like this right okay. so should i do this question huh? can you hear me I, yes yes i can hear you you have to do this question Ma'am, uh, are we supposed to use this, use this in every histogram problem or like just only when it's not equal? Yes, when it is not equal, only then you have to do. In case if they are equal, then you don't have to do anything. Just draw the simple histogram. Okay? Okay. Okay, 
Okay, so just check it. It looks like this. Okay, yeah, so perhaps it looks like that. I have to make a histogram, right? Yes, we have to do a histogram only. Like we first you will make a table now, then you will draw yeah. the histogram. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what's the next question? Okay, next question. You have drawn the histogram as well? Yes, sir. Okay. Now this one already we have done. So this one. Okay. At the time, what you have to do? This one. Right? I'll what? teach you what you have to do. I'll teach you how what you have to do over here. Right? So right. very first thing over here is 0 to 10 like this. So it's like, ma'am, 0 to 10, okay, I got it, right? How 0 to 10 and all that. But how will I get to know what is the, they have given you the frequency, right? So at that time, they, have, they are asking you to, what they are asking, they are asking you to represent the marks of the student on the same graph to frequency polygon. They are not asking you the bar graph or histogram, but they are asking, they are asking you the polygon, right? For polygon, what we have to do is, like, for example, 0 to 10, right? There is a formula, this one, right? You have to first find the class mark, okay? Which is upper limit, my plus lower limit divided by 2. So what is the upper limit? 0. What is the lower limit? 10 and divided by this. So you got 10 upon 2, which is 5, right? Right. So this will be your class mark. So how will you are going to make it? First will be the marks, which is like 0 to 10, 10 to 20, like then you will write this CM class mark where it will be 5, 10, whatever it comes, right? And then okay. frequency, it is already given, right? 3, 9. So when you are drawing it, how will you draw it? It will be like this 0, 10, 20, 30, like this. But when you will draw this, right? It will be here 5, right? And the frequency is 3. And it is, next is 10. So 10, the frequency is like this. Okay. I'm just giving you a rough idea. It can be any other number. Like you have to, earlier you were representing, but the polygon always represent in whatever. After this, you will plot it according to these two points, not according to this. Okay. Okay. Now for 5, it is 3. For 10, it is 10. For 15, whatever it comes. Right? Okay. okay. Where should I write the class marks? See, this will be your table. This is a question, right? What you, first of all, you will divide it into two parts because you have section A and section B. This is A, this is B. Over here, three columns, okay? Here also, three columns. First one will be the marks, which is already given. Then the next one will be class mark, right? Using the formula. And then it will be frequency. Similarly here, marks, class marks, uh, and... Okay? I just have one more. Okay, uh, but what is upper limit? For, uh, which one is the upper limit? This is upper limit, limit, this is lower limit. Uh, sorry? One? Sorry, 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 you asked something. Yeah, I'm asking which is the upper limit and which is the lower limit. Like, how do we know, like, what is the... Lower limit, this one, lower limit and upper oh, limit. Okay. Okay. I'll try making ones. First, draw the table and let me know, and then you will draw the polygon. Okay. Okay.
So ma'am, with this table, section A and section B both will have the same class marks. Sorry. In this table, section A mm -hmm. and section B will yes. have the same yes. class marks. Yes. Yes. Okay, I'm done drawing the table. Done? Yes, ma'am. Okay. okay. Okay, so it looked like this. 0 to 10, 10 to 25, 15, 25, 35, 45, right? No, ma'am, I got 10, 30, 50, 70, 90. Huh? Yeah. 10, 15. 10, 30, 50, 70, 90. Ah, how? Well, you are first not dividing it into two. You are not what dividing is, uh, it into two. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is the formula, na? Yeah, 5, 15, 25, uh, 35, uh, 45. Okay. Now draw the graph. Uh, the simple lines and percent, whatever you want. Ma'am, where do class marks always lie on the uh, y-axis or x-axis? X-axis. Frequency will always on the y-axis. Jana, is it clear? Whatever I told? Yes, ma'am.
Done. Done? Yes. It looks like this? Yes. No? Okay. Now coming to the next one. This one. Right? Okay, you have to again draw the polygon. But remember this time, it is again not in the sequence. So first you will convert and you will make a new table. Right? Right. How do I do when I have to do class mark and when do I have to do uh, like equal, when do I have to make it equal? No, no. First you have to convert this, right? right. Into this. And then you have to do the class mark. This is not in C. It is not a C class mark. Whenever they are asking you polygon, na, you have yeah. to do the class mark. Okay. But okay. over here, it is not in like 0 to 10, 10 to 20. There is a gap. Okay. It is 1 to 6, then it is 7 to 12. So first, you will convert it into like 0 0.5 to 6.5 like okay. this. And also, after this, you will do the class mark. Okay. okay. Ma'am, how many questions are there in statistics? Uh, there are so many. In this exercise, we have uh, 13 questions. How many exercises? Four. What exercise are you on now? Uh, I think we are in third exercise or second. I'll check it after this, okay? Um, could you go
Okay, then. So, your table look like this, and also the class mark. Oh, that is a Yes. Right, three point five, nine point five, fifteen point five, twenty one point five, twenty seven point five, thirty three point five, thirty nine point five, forty five point five, fifty one point five, and fifty seven point five. Right. Yes. After this, you drew the graph as well. No. Okay, now you will draw the graph. I think you know that, right? First, you will take the graph of this and team will be A and then team B, right?
Dani. Okay, so it looks like this. Team A, you will start it from here, right? Yeah. Ma'am, are all these questions similar now in four point whatever it is? Hmm? Are all the questions similar in this exercise? Yeah, not really, but yeah, you can see. But over here, this is a new one where you have to draw the histogram. Okay. Okay. Ma'am, can I do this as homework? But this is a different one. You have to find the length as well. But they have asked, you know, draw the histogram of the above data. Right? Right. So over here, length of a triangle. You have to you find the length or is the length already given? Length is not given. No, only this is given. Okay. So I have to find width is already given. Right, length you have to find five multiplied okay. by one divided by one like that. Okay. And then accordingly you will draw it. The simple one only. You can do this one. Okay. But here also you have to find the length of the rectangle. Okay. So like now the question know. comes in. Uh, yeah, you have to just do one other one. I'll give you as a homework, right? Now the question is, ma'am, how will I get to know whether I have to find the length of the rectangle or not? Right? Over right. here, you can see in this question, 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, it should be, no? but it is 5. There is unequal interval of gap. Right? Yeah. So that's why you have to find the length. Okay? So we don't have to use uh, minus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5? No, no, no. In this, it is unequal, basically, no? When you have to do 0 0.5 is this. They have equal gap. 6, then 7 to 12, okay. also 6, like this, right? But here it is unequal. 1 to 2, first it is 1, 1, and then it became 2, like that. Then it became 3, like that, right? It is increasing. Right. The gap is increasing. So what you have to do is, how? what is the gap? You have to find the length. What will be the this? It will be frequency multiplied by the gap. How much gap? 1. Divided by 1. Right? So, you got 5. Second one, for example, let's just take this one. So, 6 multiplied by width will be 2 because the gap is 2. So, divided by 2. So, you got 12 upon 2. Right? Sorry, 1 it will be. No? 1 only. So, 6. So, you got 3. Right? So, basically, it is nothing. It is basically what you can do. 12. Whatever the frequency is, you will divide it with the width. Clear? Okay. Hmm. So, you will what get an idea. Why don't you divide it? Because it is a width now, so you will get an idea that how much you have to take. Okay? Even if you will not do it, na, it will be easy for you. You can simply take the numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, till 17. Okay? And 1 to 2, like for example, you took it like this. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, like this. So 1 to 2 came here. For example, it is 2 to 4. So you will take it here. It was 4 to 7. So it will be here, like this. Okay? But now why I'm asking you over here? Because it is easier, but you can even do it like this also without calculating the width and it's, okay? Okay.
Ma'am? Yes. Um, Ma'am, I'm wondering sure how to do this. Uh, I just wanted to ask if I could just like uh, do all of it as homework and tell it to you tomorrow or day after tomorrow. Okay, so do one, this one only. Others are similar. Just do it at home. Okay? At least okay. I will have an idea that I asked you to do it in the class. Okay? Do the 12th okay. one only. Others similar, I'll give you as a homework. Okay? Okay, mom. Is done? Uh, one minute. Uh, no. Yes. Okay. Now, oh, I think this one I'll give you as a homework. Okay, same thing. Okay. Now, coming to the next one, you have to find the mean. Okay. So, I will first teach you how to calculate the mean. Okay. For example, this is a question. Like two, three, seven, six, two, four. Okay. I just ask you to calculate mean. So mean will be sum of all the observation. Okay. So it will be two plus three plus seven plus six plus two plus four. And divided by number of observation, like how many numbers are there. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Right. So you will add them up. For example, you got 36, for example. Okay. So for example, you got 36. So 36 divided by 6, you got 6. Right? So this is your mean. Okay? So first, what you will do, you will, before starting, you will write the formula. Mean of data is sum of all the observation divided by total number of observation. Okay? Then you will do this. Okay? 